often when we sort yarns in our stash or unravel unfinished projects, it helps to know the fiber the yarn is made of. Even if the yarn label is lost, it is still possible to identify the fiber by burning it. In this video, we'll see how wool, cotton, bamboo and acrylic fiber behave when we set them on fire. But before we get started, a word of caution, please. We are dealing with fire, so be careful and stay safe. First, let's take a look at wool. Cut a piece of yarn, fold it several times, and set one end of this little torch on fire. I have a little candle over here, so I could easily burn it. The first thing you will probably notice is a strong smell of burnt hair. Another thing that distinguishes wool is that it stops burning. See, when I take it out of the flame, it, it stops burning. So when it's in the flame, it burns. And as soon as I take it, the flame slowly dies. Well, almost. But the smell is still there. It's unmistakable. Burnt hair, that's the smell of wool. And as it burns, it turns into ash. So when I rub it between my fingers, see, it's, it's ash. That's how it looks. And that was wool. Next piece of yarn is made of pure cotton. Let's fold it several times and see how it burns. So we make like a little torch. And when I put it into the flame, you see it catches on fire quite fast and it keeps burning even when I took it out of the fire. See, there is a flame there. The flame is light yellow and the smell is very different this time. It doesn't smell like burnt hair like wool does. It smells like burnt paper. Don't blow on the yarn as it burns or you might spread the fire because the flame is, is quite big and we all know that it is dangerous. So let the yarn burn completely. It will happen quite soon. And now let's take a look at the burned fiber. It also turns to ash, but uh, its particles are bigger. So we can clearly see the strands, see? And even when I rub it between fingers, it doesn't fall apart as well as the ash left after we burned wool. Now let's see how bamboo yarn behaves when being burned. Make a little torch, set it on fire. Bamboo and other yarn fibers are flammable, so it catches fire instantly, you can tell that. And the fire it keeps burning even when we take it out of the flame. It's still there, it's burning. The flame is a deeper yellow shade, closer to orange. So the cotton flame, when the cotton burned, the flame was lighter. And this one is uh, almost orangey, it's deeper yellow. Let the fiber burn completely and then we'll take a look at the, at the ash. Okay, now it's burned. You can definitely feel uh, the smell. It is the same as the smell of the burnt cotton. It's the smell of the burnt paper. So you can definitely tell that the smell um, is of something organic, something natural. Uh, the, the ash is also, it, it's very similar to the cotton one, but the strands are still there, but the, when you rub it, the strand will fall apart and will look pretty much the same as the ash that is left after we burned wool. And that's how bamboo behaves. The last yarn to test is acrylic. Fold it, make a little torch, and then set it on fire. It catches fire fast. See, even, even a bit of a contact with the flame and it burns and it keeps burning even now. It burns longer than cotton and bamboo. And see, it, get, it has those black glow. You know, the, the smoke is black because it's uh, not an organic material. And the smell is a strong chemical one. Because acrylic is a synthetic fiber, when it burns, it doesn't leave ash. You can tell. It's not, it doesn't look like ash even. 
It's something of a crispy plastic sub substance. It looks a lot like black beads, more than ash that we had left after wool or cotton or bamboo. And when I rub the, the beads, see they're sticking to this glass plate. And when I rub this um, little bead, it's crispy. It's crispy, but you can tell it's kind of plasticky. So that's how wool, cotton, bamboo, and acrylic fiber behave when we burn them. And that's how you can tell wool, cotton, bamboo, and acrylic fibers apart. Use this video as a guideline when you try to identify the mystery fiber in your stash. Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful week. I'll see you next Thursday.